Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This one kind of dropped out of nowhere for me, and um, well, I think this one needs a little bit of context, but maybe not really. Uh, a little while ago, we checked out Taeyon from uh, SNSD had a kind of like special ballad project in a way. Uh, that was produced by an artist named Naul for the Ballet Pop City project. Fast forward to, I think today, technically it may have been yesterday, but today, Naul himself has released the Ballet Pop City project, uh, project song, in a way, titled Dayspring. Although there is a Korean title for it, which, um, like a pr true professional, I failed to look up, so I'm going to look it up right now. Gormu Momchunu Naru. So, it only seemed right, it only seemed appropriate, and it only seemed fair that because we checked out Taeyeon's Ballet Pop City song produced by Naru, that we would check out Naru's own contribution to the ballad Pop City Project single that he's done. So, was that complicated enough for you? We'll find out. But, ballad Pop City means we're in for a ballad, which means we're in for a good time, because I love ballads. If you didn't know, I love ballads. So, here we go. Uh, that's about as much context as I have for this. Uh, 4 minutes 44 seconds. This will be the longest thing we've checked out in a hot minute. But here we go. 3, 2, 1. And from like the MV, it kind of feels like the B-side to the Taeyeon uh, ballad we checked out. It's the same scenery, except I think in that video, the protagonists were moving that way, but this time they're walking this way. Listen to the emotion in his voice though. There's like a permanent vibrato in his voice. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long or short his, like, the notes he's singing are, there's always a vibrato, and I think that's so cool. That's hard to do. Man, that flourish was quick. That came out of nowhere and smacked me in the face. Again, there's just so much emotion laced in his voice. Oh, just switches it up with this. It's still high, but it's so gentle now. Clean electric guitar, muted French horn. Although that might be a synth. Oh, we got cello now. And it's a ballad. This literally has everything I love about a ballad in it. And vocal harmonies as well. It is in unison, but vocal harmony as well.
it just went 80s power ballad all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. I hear the oohahs, I hear that chorus section in the background. Ah, key change! <laughs> this song literally has everything. Oh my goodness. There's the resolution. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> no cap. This may be my favorite ballad that's dropped this year. This is spectacular on so many different levels. Look, I've mentioned it throughout this whole thing, but there are certain things I love in a song. Strings. Any strings, just whether it be, you know, synthesizer-based strings or actual orchestral-based strings, whether it's solo or a full orchestra section, I love strings. I love a good brass section. Again, same deal, brass sections, singular instruments, with brass, you, there's a little bit wider scope in terms of what it could be used for. Because strings is typically your slower emotional songs. With brass, you can kind of put it in anything. I love a good vocal harmony. Again, not necessarily restricted to ballads, but more often than not found in slower, more softer songs. I love a ballad. Just something about the emotional aspect of a ballad just gets to me. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm feeling super happy or super sad or super down in the dumps, super depressed. A ballad will never fail to kind of like bring my spirits back. And power ballads? I grew up with music around the 19, like the 1980s music, thanks to my parents. This, like 80s power ballads, is like what made me fall in love with like that era of music. Think of your like Steel Hearts, your uh, Ario Speedwagon. Well, I guess not so much like power ballad, but like. Uh, I could riff off a whole like. Europe as much kind of like meme much like meme status as they've gotten with the final countdown like their ballad carry is super good like there's a whole bunch of really good 80s ballads out there that I just love and adore as soon as the vibe switch happened in Dayspring I was immediately there I'm like oh yes give me more of it and in fact it's just how we got there is just what's completely like had me gobsmacked because it's this super gorgeous gentle ballad right you have string sections essentially just strings and Naruto's voice and Naruto's voice is oh my goodness his the emotion that's laced in his voice is spectacular the amount of vibrato he has Regardless of if it's a super like nice long held note, like an open vowel to held note, or if it's like a super short like little transitional word he has within the lyrics, 
there's vibrato in all of it. And you can hear it, and you can feel it in your soul. But then the song keeps going. You bring in a solo cello all of a sudden. And while I play violin, I love the sound of a cello. I think it's super pretty. You have this kind of like wailing electric guitar. That high note is spectacular. Because it prepares the listener for... You'd think, oh man, there's going to be a big chorus coming. And then the growl, like, oh my goodness, the growl comes out of nowhere. And then it just switches to 80s power ballad, and I'm oh. With a seemingly like endless guitar solo in the background there. You've got like the plucky synth. You've got the choir section in the background. And a key change. Listen, I don't know about you, but you know the four things I listed earlier? Strings, brass, harmonies, and what was the last one? Strings, brass, harmony, and ballads. Add a fifth one, key changes. Oh yeah, there's something so special about a key change and just how refreshing it makes a song after. It's the exact same song. The notes are exactly the same. All it's done is being transposed in some direction, typically up. All that's all this song has done is just change the key it's being sung in one or two steps higher. That's it. But there's so much more in this section with the new key. Don't get me wrong, this like power section is magical. But there's like this newfound life once the key change happens. And then finish it with this guitar solo again. You bring in Naoru's super soft vibrato filled voice. And then you have the resolution. No cap, this is my favorite ballad. I so far this year. I have I will confirm it right now. This is special. Oh. It just it it's like it was made for me. It has everything I love about a song. It's, it has everything that I love about a song written with a genre of music that I absolutely adore. It's, it, this was a match made in heaven for me, and I absolutely adore it. This was so much fun, and I absolutely loved it. I'm so glad that we checked it out here today. And I may have to uh, look into Null and Brown Eyed Soul's music a little bit more if it's also along this line, because I'm going to be listening to this for a very long time. But that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy and want to see more, channel icon is up there. You can find the back catalog of stuff I watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time... Bye-bye. Ho, 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 man.